Hi and welcome to the video. We are about to make a nice brown veal stock, a fond de veau. So to make that veal stock, that version is more for home making, okay? In a restaurant we might do it a little differently. But you will need some brown veal bones. I mixed the veal bones with a little bit of oil and just brown them in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and I rotate them every 5 minutes so they color nicely and evenly. A mirepoix here of carrot, celery, onion and some green leeks. Those they're going to be sauteed in some oil to develop a little bit of color. I have a little bouquet garni here which are composed of which is composed of parsley stem, bay leaf, thyme and black peppercorn. Garlic. I have four or five cloves of garlic. Some tomatoes quartered and some tomato paste. Here we go. I have my uh, large pot here. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm covering the bottom nicely here with the oil. I will then add my mirepoix and have it brown a little bit. I'm going to wait before the oil to come to the smoking point here. So when the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add the mirepoix to it. We're going to brown that nicely. So when your vegetable has come to a nice brown color, you know, you need some nice color because we're making a brown stock. So to be able to achieve a brown color into that stock, all those ingredients, the bones need to be nicely brown and the vegetable too. It's very important. Now I'm going to add to that the tomato paste. Okay. I'm going to mix everything together and let that tomato paste cook like 30 seconds with everything. Then I will add my bones. Tomato paste burns very fast, so you want to keep an eye on it. It can be lightly brown, but not, not burn. Huh? Okay, I'm now going to add the bone. Cover those bones with some water. Okay, so we cover everything with some water. I'm going to add my tomato product here and the garlic. My bay leaf, thyme, parsley, stem, and black peppercorn. No salt at that point will be added to the stock. We never salt the stock at the beginning because by the time it cooked and reduced, it might become over salted. Now, a couple points about making stock. Little details. You do not want the stock to boil. The stock should come to a boil, then we're gonna lower the heat and just let it simmer. Then we are going to degrease it. There's going to be some fat coming out of those bones, the oil we use to brown the vegetable. We will have to remove that fat. Using a little ladle, I will remove it at one point. You'll see. Those steps are very important, so at the end we have a nice clear stock with no uh, impurity into it. Okay? And then we will let that stock cook between five to six hours. Uh, this is a little stock here, so that should be enough. You'll put it on the side, 
on a low heat on your stove five to six hours making sure that all the time the bones are covered with stock so if at one point you realize that you have a lot of evaporation of liquid you just add a little bit more water to cover those bones that's going to be fine first now we're waiting for that to come to a boil okay so our stock is coming to a boil right now you can see it's starting to boil I want to make sure that it doesn't boil too much just a little simmer I don't want too much movement into that stock because the more movement I have the less clear of a stock I will get and it's very important while making stocks that they are clear as possible when you make them because if they're not then when you'll be making using them to make a sauce later on that sauce won't have I would say the, the right consistency it could still be a good sauce but the look of it not be as shiny or translucent as you want it to be this is why I'm going to lower my heat now and just make sure it just simmer and I'm going to let it simmer for another 5 to 6 hours, 8 hours actually I know when it's ready if I test it and I have a flavor I desire from it so you see all that foam here we're gonna have to skim that we'll remove it use your ladle and you just remove it this way you don't want to shake that stuff you don't want to stir it or anything you have to be very delicate with it also I'm not sure I said that earlier but when you add water to it you want to make sure you add cold water don't start with hot water because that it's not a good thing for the bones always start with cold water when you make a stock it has to do with the albumin on the bones and it's a little technical so trust me on that just use cold water When it's done, I will show you how we strain the stock. After you strain the stock, we'll have to cool it down so we're able to refrigerate it. Okay, so that bit of stock has been cooking for long enough now. I test it, it's got a nice flavor beautiful color nice and clear I'm going to strain it cut it down and put it away and I'll be done with that veal stock I will make another video on how to make a dummy glass using that stock what is a dummy glass? I'm, it's just to reinforce a veal stock I will be reducing that veal stock by half so I get more flavor out of it I could use it straight like that of course to make a sauce that'd be perfect but just to give it a little bit more body a little reduction is going to do it some good to it to strain it I will put it on the side here I take a container that bowl have that kind of sieve here I'm just going to let it out this way okay you want to use a fine mesh strainer here it's very important so you keep all those little impurity of the stock yeah? and you strain it this way
we just made a veal stock. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by pressing on that like button. That'd be very nice of you. If you want to subscribe, check out my channel, all those things, please do so. That's going to help me. Thank you again for watching. Happy cooking. And see you on some more of my videos.